right, in today's tech video, I will demonstrate how to set up your computer to turn on an external appliance whenever you power on your system. The most obvious use of this, of course, is to power on and off a sound system, uh, 5.1 HD or whatever. Or, of course, you can power on a television you're using an external device as long as it comes on with power. In this example video, I will actually be turning on a second computer power supply, but the steps are exactly the same. Uh, I advise you to take all necessary precautions when doing this, such as making sure the computer is not only turned off, but unplugged as well. Items you will need for this include the following. A 12 volt DC or 5 volt DC relay from Radio Shack or a comparable electronic store. The one pictured here is capable of controlling up to 40 amps of current at 12 volts or 4 amps at 120 volts. At the time of this video it was under $7. It is important to note that DC refers only to the voltage that controls the relay. You can control AC voltage with it as well. Number two, a wire cutting and crimping tool such as the one pictured here. Number three, four female blade connectors that can connect to the relay prongs such as the ones pictured here. The ones I'm using actually have rubber protectors already on them but you can wrap, wrap them if you get ones that don't have them. Number four, you need a female Molex connector. You can get these by uh, buying a, a splitting cable like the one pictured here so you uh, don't use up one of your connectors in your computer case or you can get like an adapter cable that's got one on the end of it. If you plan on making this permanent you can even splice directly into the wiring on your computer's power supply. Okay, now on to the actual construction. Step one, cut off a needed wire from the Molex connector, then strip and crimp on two of the female blade connectors. You should be using one of the black wires. This will be your ground wire. The other wire you hook onto should either be the yellow wire if you are using a 12 volt relay or the red wire if you are using a 5 volt relay. Put the blade connectors into the relay on the wires marked as coil voltage. Make sure that you hook the black wire to the side of the relay marked as ground. It should have a minus on it. If it's not labeled you will just have to try it both ways. Next in my example I will be splicing into the control wire for the power supply I am controlling. An ATX power supply can be powered on merely by splicing together the green and black wires on the main connector. But you can also control an AC hookup the exact same way by splicing into the main wire of an extension cord. Uh, this is the wire with the wider blade on it and hooking it to the relay. Besides this one change, the steps are exactly the same. Okay, in this picture I've cut the green and black wire. Now I'm splicing on the wire end. All that is left is hooking these uh, two blade connectors to the relay and plugging the Molex connector in. Voila! It's all hooked up correctly and when I turn the computer on, all my external uh, drives will power up. Thank you and that's all I got.